Chebyshev's inequality is, again, analogous for lists and random variables. For lists, it says the fraction of values in the list that are more than k standard deviations from the mean is at most 1 over k squared. For random variable, it says the probability that the random variable is more than k standard errors away from the expected value is at most 1 over k squared. So uh, let's look at an example here. OK, so we have a box of 100 tickets labeled with numbers. We know the mean of the, of the box, and we know the SD of the box. But we don't know the numbers in the box. Okay? So we are not going to be able to find the probability distribution of the sample sum or the sample mean, because in order to do that, to find the whole probability distribution, we would need to know what the numbers were in the box, not just their mean and standard deviation. Okay? But we know their mean and their standard deviation. We can find the expected value and the standard error of the sample sum. So we're going to try to use that information to get a bound on the probability that the sample sum is in some range. Right? So what have we got? The average is 40.3. The SD is 0.3. We're looking at the sample sum of a, of a sample of size 7 drawn with replacement from the box. And uh, the question is, uh, to find about to learn something about the probability that the difference between the sample sum and 282.1 is 4.05 or bigger. Okay, where did 282.1 come from? I made it up, right? But but what do we make it up to be equal to? <laughs> What's the expected value of the sample sum of seven draws from that box? It's going to be 7 times the mean of the box. Yes? 7 times 40.3 is 282.1. Okay, so this is the expected value of the sample sum of 7 draws. What's the standard error of the sample sum of 7 draws from this box? Okay, it's going to be the square root of n, square root of 7, times 0.3, the SD of the box. So what is that? OK, 0.7937. OK, so how many standard errors is 4.05? I want 4.05 divided by this, right? Five point one, yes. So five point. This is this is a range of plus or minus five point one standard errors around the expected value. So what's the chance that it's more than four more than five point one standard errors away? First of all, does this give us an upper bound or a lower bound? Chance that you're very far away. Is it least something or is it most something? At most. It's going to give us an upper bound, right? And this answer should be 1 divided by 5.1 squared. Um, except maybe this isn't parsing squared. Uh, again, this works in the book, but don't submit homework that has math in the blanks. It won't, the, the server won't do the math for you. Um, put, in, put in the actual number. Okay. This makes sense? So we don't know what's in the box, so we don't really know the probability distribution of the sample mean, but we do know the expected value, sorry, the sample sum, but we do know its expected value in standard error, and from that we can get a bound without knowing anything else. Yes? Um, well, uh, yeah, so it's the same. The question is, why is it an upper bound? Um, if you take some 
arbitrary probability histogram. And let's say here's its expected value. Okay, and let's say that its standard error is something like this. Okay, and we're asking how much area could there be out here more than k standard errors away from the mean. Okay, and the answer is if there were a lot, then this, if there were a lot of probability out there, then the standard error would be bigger. It would mean that the distribution was broader. Okay, so there, we get an upper bound on this because if there were a lot of mass, a lot of probability out in the tails, that would make the standard error bigger. So if you, if you limit the standard error, then there can't be much probability out there because if there were much probability out there, then the standard error would be bigger. So um, basically, uh, it, it, Chebyshev's inequality is saying the chance that you are, you know, the probability that the absolute value of x minus ex is greater than or equal to k times the standard error of x is less than or equal to 1 over k squared. So the chance that you are k or more standard errors away from the expected value is at most 1 over k squared. <laughs>